Okay, something short and sweet I wanted to talk to you guys about today. And it involves our favorite character, Luffy. Well, some of you guys are favorite characters. Okay, don't, don't hate me. Don't hate me. I'm not saying Luffy's not one of my favorite characters. I am saying Luffy's not one of my favorite characters. Okay, is he my top 10? Sure. But he's not in my top five. Because there's so many characters. You can't get on me for that, right? You guys, okay, okay. Give me quickly, right? If you're listening to this, your top five favorite One Piece characters right? Either way, that's not what we're here to talk about today. Yes, Luffy is one of our favorite characters, but I fear that he may be in trouble. Like, I mean, serious trouble that really is not being talked about enough. Everyone has read chapter 1045 by now. Okay, maybe not everyone. And we've gotten a gist for what's going on. It is a silly, goofy, looney toony type chapter. And funny enough, it's a chapter that's led to a lot of people being split on which side they're on. Some people really like the chapter saying, this is goofy, I love it. Some people really hated it saying, this is trash, I need more intensity. Well, I think the correct answer is somewhere in the middle and maybe Oda did take a leap with this one and maybe he's stretching it a bit too far <laughs> but in all actuality it does not feel like a different story it feels like we're within one piece but it just got turned up a notch it'll be fine but again that's not what I'm here to talk about I'm sure you're watching saying okay motherfucker then get to what you want to talk about okay what I want to talk about is Luffy's death okay first though for people that haven't read the chapter I know I said everyone probably read the chapter by now if you haven't read it I will be discussing spoilers in this video if you're not aware by the thumbnail already now that we're in the clear the people that could possibly be spoiled are gone Luffy's death something that we don't like to talk about actually a lot of people like talking about it if you go through YouTube there are a lot of people just talking about Luffy's death he's gonna die at the end of the story well I think that's the only way this can be done right what I'm talking talking about is Luffy's devil fruit and the taxing on his body. You've heard about this before, but we're going to tackle it from a different angle. Yes, Rob Lucci talked about Gear 2nd and how it was impacting his body because he was using the blood or using his heart to pump blood throughout his body in Gear 2nd and that gave him the bump that he needed, right? That got him to the point where he could keep up with CP9 and even overwhelm some of them, like Bluno. And over the story, we've seen how Luffy has gone through different transformations or different situations in which he should have died, but because of his undying will, he was able to survive these situations. But Oda has been slowly but surely saying, hey, this is taking years off of Luffy's lifespan. Hey, this is a situation in which he should have died, but he lived hey luffy's gonna die okay he's gonna die and i have another reason other than the fact that his body is going through so much my other reason is that he does not exist at the end of the story because he would not make sense again your second that was taxing every time he used it move on to ivan coven and pow down literally states years off his life has happened he should have died then but the hormones and all that he lived even in marine ford ivankov gave him more hormones after he probably shouldn't have gotten any more right his body was done he's being forced to do these things and it's taking years off his life at the end of marine ford whatever surgery law did it saved his life but what are the lasting effects of that post time skip when he came back it was like oh wow he seems to have mastered it i don't think the effect effect is gone necessarily but it's so negligible Oda hasn't mentioned it and I think it's kind of contradictory how we talk about things which is funny because we say hey Luffy has completely mastered this post time skip right it's it's nothing then we see gear fourth and it's like okay well he maybe he doesn't have mastery over his devil fruit as much as we thought where gear fourth as mentioned by several people is using way too much hockey this is showing just a progression of things I think in Luffy where it's affecting his body and he's had years taking off his life and trust me i'll get to it where i explain why i think he has to die by the end of the story why it makes sense for the situation but what makes sense right now is for you to subscribe to the channel okay you have been watching this video listening to my voice enjoying it perhaps just sub check it out walk around drop a like and then let me get to it let me get to it let me get to it just sit down just relax what i'm saying is gear five the drums of liberation. The drums that everyone is hearing, everyone being Zunisha, I know, everyone, generalization, whatever. Everyone being Zunisha is Luffy's heartbeat. Luffy's heart is pumping to the point that it sounds like a goddamn drum. Yes, Rago, Luffy's rubber, it doesn't matter. It does matter. The fact that it was rubber pre time skip and is taking years off of his life, it doesn't change post time skip. It's still taking years off of his life. The mastery of the devil fruit does not matter because I think for as powerful as this fruit is, there has to be certain drawbacks. Even Law's fruit, and it's been established for the most part in the story that these two fruits, in regards to legendary status, are pretty similar. I have a foreshadowing video coming out, but quick teaser, I'm gonna talk about the situation in which Romance Dawn, one of the prototypes for One Piece, it's mentioned 
mentioned that Luffy's Devil Fruit is worth 5 billion berry, just like Law's. These two ultimate Devil Fruits, they're pretty similar. For Law though, it is established. If he goes past his stamina limit, he's starting to use a bit of life force. For Luffy, not as much, it's just this may be taking years off his life, so it's pretty similar. But the words are different, the wording is different, it's not as obvious. In Gear 5, after he fell out of it, it's like, well, hey Heartbeat, let's go again. He's literally pumping his heart to the max degree. Yes, he will not feel the effects right now, but guys, there's no question in my mind that it is clear that Luffy's devil fruit is taxing his body and he will die. There's going to be a moment, right, in the story where it's going to be like Luffy just falls down and be like, oh, oh my God, what's wrong with Luffy? Then Oda's going to flash back to all the moments where Luffy surpassed his limits, quote unquote. But in all actuality, his undying will is him literally using life force to propel himself forward. In One Piece, you can do that. You can use your life force to keep fighting, to keep going. And for Luffy, I don't think there's any exception. Now, quickly, before you get a bit antsy, why does this have to happen, Brago? Why does he have to die? Other Shonen MCs don't die. Why does Luffy have to die? Well, I just don't think there's an ecosystem in which Luffy can exist at the end of the story. In the end, we assume the Marines will be occupied by quote unquote good people. And so now with the good people occupying the Marines, how could they have the Straw Hats sailing across the world, even though they're technically pirates? Oh, they're good pirates, Brago. Yes, good pirates, but they are maybe 0.1% of the representation of what pirates actually are in the story. Pirates are not good people, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, they are products of their environment, like Kid, like Beiji, maybe even Kuma. But at the end of the day, they are way more bad than good. So therefore, piracy will still be outlawed. But for Luffy, how does he go against these good people? I've read and watched so many different stories, right? And the author, the author, director, producer, whatever, they always talk about they want to someone have consequences for actions, right? And for Luffy, so far, there really hasn't been any consequences for him fighting beyond his will, fighting beyond his capabilities and his limits. So for Oda, I know it will be just out of left field. Oda does not like to kill his characters, especially his MC, because if Luffy dies, One Piece will be truly over in a lot of our eyes. The reason why he has to is that Kobe, Smoker, Fujitora, X Drake, these people are trying to change the Marines, make it a better place. How can you have Luffy and his Tri Hats still sailing around the world, influencing kids and people of the world while the Marines are trying to change and make a better world? And then how do revolutionaries play into this? They're fighting to rid the world of the Celestial Dragons. Once they're gone and it's an actual Marine system that wants the betterment for the world, how can you endorse these pirates? Also, for the Straw Hats, if Luffy's no longer around, everyone else then dissolves. They go and they find something else to do, which would make more sense because for Zoro, uh, maybe he starts up a dojo, starts training the next generation. For Nami, she starts up a store where she starts drawing maps. For Sanji, he of course goes back to the Baratier. Maybe they start expanding. They create Baratiers in every blue. For Usopp, he finally gets to go back and fuck Kaya. Maybe that's a bit too far but chopper goes back to drum island right these people go back and they can impact the world in different ways maybe better ways chopper reunites with mocha all these different things happen but this will not happen unless luffy's out of the picture they will not stop following luffy unless he's no longer around and luffy will not stop being a pirate unless he physically cannot be. Now, death in One Piece is something that's interesting, right? Because even when you die, you don't die. A man dies when he's forgotten. Luffy, monkey D fucking Luffy will never be forgotten. He will always be embedded in the minds of not only the Straw Hats, but all the people that he saved. Vivi, Neptune, Shirahoshi, Dalton, Iceberg, Ganfall, even people like Katakuri, right? Death in One Piece, honestly, is an existential thing. You become more ethereal. You become a legend in death. It is viewed as solidifying your legacy almost. For Luffy, his final moments will do that for him. Of course, I don't even want to think about it as much, but somebody got to talk about it, okay? The last thing I'll say here for Gear 5 and how amazing it is, how overpowered it is, how Luffy consistently fights through the fatigue and the pain, there will be consequences. There will be a situation where at some point, Monkey D. Luffy is no longer around, but he will 100% leave the world in a better place. Again, even in his quote-unquote quote, physical death, he will truly never die. Too many people have been impacted and influenced by this character inside and 100% outside of the story. All of us reading and watching One Piece, we try to embody Luffy in everything we do. And again, freedom, right? Luffy will forever be free. The ultimate freedom is then passing on and living forever. Like Roger said to Rayleigh, I'm not gonna die, partner. Luffy will be removed from the physical story of One Piece, but his legacy, his thoughts, they will live on forever. And I'm here for it, right? But guys, give me a thought. 
how do you feel about it this is supposed to be a short video but luffy when i talk about him i just start to ramble and you know he gets a little crazy but guys give me thoughts make sure to like the video if you did subscribe to the channel for more content like this follow me on twitter at brago d ace follow me on instagram at brago d dot ace thank you to my patrons i appreciate you guys all so much again guys be sure be sure to like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one peace Okay, I start doubting me, I felt lost. I